and welcome to Boom and Bloomin' News. I'm Sydney Weir. And I'm Jenna Kowalski. We are back to bring you events to excite and enlighten your campus life at Bloomsburg University. Bloomsburg University loves to give back and support different causes. What better way than to give back than participate in a color run? That sounds like a great way to give back to me. What's better than running for the cure? One in three people will develop some form of cancer in their lifetime. Breast cancer is the second most common newly diagnosed cancer and second leading cause of cancer death in the U.S. So what can you do to help? On Saturday, October the 4th at 10 a.m., Bloomsburg will be holding a 5K color run to benefit the American Cancer Society. If you have not registered yet, you can register as the winner of the race at 8.30 a.m. The run will be held at the Bloomsburg Town Park, so come down and show your true colors. Color your, your world with hope. hope. brighten up everyone else's day. It sure brightened up mine. You know what else brightens up my day? Tuning into B News and knowing what's happening in Hollywood and fashion. Hey Huskies, welcome to B News, where you'll be able to get your bi-weekly pop of culture. I'm Kaylee. And I'm Nadine. And we're here to talk about all things gossip. One of the most talked about topics in media today is the huge leak of celebrity news that has been going on for a couple weeks now. It seems that almost anyone who is anyone has been exposed. Some other stars who have been exposed include Rihanna, Victoria Justice, Leah Michelle, Megan Good, and Gabrielle Union, among others. This completely invasive exposure of stars' privacy has resulted in contacting FBI to see who has leaked this information. Many fans are sticking behind their stars in this time, tweeting their support for the actresses and disgust for the people who did this to them. Only time will tell if the people who leaked these pictures will be caught and any updates we will have here on B News. If you've been keeping up with the Kardashians, then you know that Kris and Bruce Jenner have been separated for some time, 11 months to be exact. However, as of September 22nd, Mama Chris has officially filed for divorce from the ex-Olympian. She has also filed for joint custody of their youngest daughter, Kylie Jenner. The ex-couple would have just celebrated their 23rd wedding anniversary, but seem more than happy to be on their own. Heading from breakups, let's talk about babies. Royal babies, to be exact. Thanks, guys. I'm Kate with your update on all things royal. News from the United Kingdom of the next royal baby has been making some excitement in the media. It has been confirmed by the palace that the Duchess of Cambridge is in fact pregnant with her second child. While it is too soon to tell whether royal baby number two will be a boy or a girl, it is certain that he or she will be fourth in line for the throne behind older brother Prince George. Well folks, it's that time of year again. It is officially fall and the October month is in full force. First up, we have the heavily anticipated horror film Annabelle, which centers on a demonically possessed doll. You may remember her from last summer's horror film, The Conjuring. Don't miss it when it comes to theaters Friday, October 3rd. Closing out the month of October comes a story about teenagers who play on the wrong side of the Ouija board in Ouija. Not a fan of scary or thrilling movie genres? You can catch the new World War II epic film, Fury, starring Brad Pitt and Shia LaBeouf, coming to theaters Friday, October 17th. Entertainment is not just happening on the silver screen this month. Coming back to your TV screens this fall are the wildly anticipated seasons of FX's American Horror Story Freak Show, which airs October 9th and then is followed by AMC's The Walking Dead airing October 12th. Don't miss this exciting month in television. October is also a big month in the music industry. This coming month, expect new material from artists such as Charlie XCX, Foo Fighters, Taylor Swift, Lil Wayne, Nicki Minaj, Eminem, and new remastered Led Zeppelin hits. Speaking of new months and new releases, we now go to Caitlin for all things fashion. Thanks, Rachel. I'm Caitlin, and I'm here for all your fashion needs and desires. Fall is the time of year when you can get away with the most daring fashion statements, the outrageous accessories and colors. I mean, what other season can you wear burnt orange and still be fashion forward? The most exciting thing about fall fashions are the scarves. The many colors and styles of scarves can spruce up any outfit, and it keeps you warm on those brisk autumn days. If you're not a scarf person, remember that high necklines and button-up blouses are totally in this year and really can make an outfit into a statement. Speaking of fashion, let's now go to Fashion Police.
Welcome to this week's episode of Fashion Police. I'm in the fashion hot seat where I'll share my fashion picks and misses for the week. First up, we have Sarah Hyland from Modern Family. I think it was really classy, but still comfortable. So something that you could wear to almost anywhere and it will be in style. So I would definitely wear it around. Yeah, I thought the pants really accentuated her long legs and like her really skinny figure. I thought it was really adorable and a really cute outfit that you could even go out in around here. That's what I liked about it most. I just feel like I could pull that off, which is something that I always like because if I can pull it off, then that's good because I can kind of steal that fashion. But <laughs> um, anyways, so my worst for the week was Rihanna at the iHeartRadio Award event. I think she tried to go above and beyond and kind of push the envelope, but this time it didn't work in her favor. The hair kind of just reminds me of the Cynthia doll from Rugrats. Oh, <laughs> so, so I do not like this look. I think she was like um, a crazier version of Cher and Elvira, if oh, you know. <laughs> and I don't think I could ever step out in that, you know, myself. It's not very relatable and her hair, I would agree, <laughs> very <laughs> Cynthia-esque. Even that jacket, like what? I don't know. Yeah. Like she didn't even have it on. I don't even like, know. Awkwardly, <laughs> like I don't know. It was just wrong. <laughs> so sorry, Rihanna, but you're definitely my worst for this week. Now we have a little fun game we're gonna play. It's gonna be guess who. So I've picked um, an actor, and I've he kind of had some fashion mis mishaps, um, and I show the picture to the girls, and we're gonna see if they can guess who it is. So who do you guys think it is? I think it's Macaulay Culkin from uh, Home Alone. My only guess that I can get from it is uh, Robert De Niro. I think I'd go with Bruce Jenner. My pick is Ryan Gosling. All right, well, you're all wrong. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. <laughs> And who it is is actually heartthrob Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, really? And I guess that's so sad. Yes, he is sad, but... That was his lip for the week, and I guess he's... Oh. Well, that wraps it up for this week's episode of Fashion Police. We'll see you all next time, next week on B News. Ah, uh, that's like music to my ears. I don't hear any music. Well, duh, Icona Pop doesn't come to bloom until October 30th. You guys ready for Thursday? I can't wait. I am so ready. So cool. Wait. <laughs> what is happening on Thursday? Oh, Icon of Pop? Icon of Pop is coming here to Bloomsburg, PA. Yeah. yeah. October 30th. Did you not get your tickets? Tickets? There he goes. Don't be like this guy. Get your tickets early on October 1st, only for $15. Now do you know what I was referencing? I think I got it now. Just a random question. Is it your goal to know everyone in Bloomsburg? If it is, you have no shot. However, this segment might get you a little closer to that goal. I'm Gabby Liello. And I'm Charlotte Paparella. And we've created Humans of Bloomsburg. Humans of Bloomsburg is a photojournalism blog run on Facebook and Instagram where we look into the lives of those in Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. Casting faces, endless stories, who are they and what can they share? Radio. My favorite thing about radio is... So, what is your favorite thing about yourself? My favorite thing about myself would probably be... So, can you think of the happiest moment of your life? Um, don't forget to follow us at Humans of Bloomsburg on Instagram and on Facebook. Is it 
that time already? Oh yes, Jenna. It's game time. Thanks guys and welcome to Husky Sports Center, providing you with everything you need to know about Bloomsbury Athletics. I'm your host, Max Duff. Cross Country kicked off on September 12th at the 125th Slippery Rock Invitational. For the women's group, senior Lauren Lehman took first place, completing the 6K course in 22 minutes and 48 seconds. In the men's group, Kyle Phillips finished seventh for the Huskies, completing the 8K in 26 minutes and 44 seconds. Also, do not forget to head up to Nelson Fieldhouse to check out the maroon and gold swim meet on October 4th. Now we go to Adriana with an update for men's and women's soccer. Thanks, Max. I'm here at Steph Pettick Stadium, where the men's soccer team played St. Hill University on Friday night, where they dominated to a 3-0 victory. The Huskies controlled play in the first half, letting out 11 shots on goal and holding Seton Hill to none. The Huskies really counted on Nick Izzo, Matt Zimma, and Roman Lamboda for their three goals that night. The men also captured another win the next day on Saturday, beating Pitt Johnstown 5-1 to their third straight victory. They plan on keeping rolling through the season, adding up the win column. On the women's side, they battled a tough one with Seton Hill for 110 minutes, resulting in a 0-0 tie with two overtimes. The Huskies couldn't put the ball through the back of the net. Blues were really counted on freshman goalie Megan Deke, who came up big with five saves for the game. Even with the scoreless affair, the women came out strong the next day against Pitch Johnstown, defeating them 3-0, but they played a tight game all the way throughout, scoring their last two goals in the 81st and 83rd minute. Now an update on field hockey. Thanks, Adriana. I'm Alex Steinhill with the field hockey update. The women's field hockey team is off to a tough start this season, losing to number three ranked Westchester this past Saturday by a score of two to zero. The Huskies had some key shots on goal, but nothing would fall through. The women's record is now two and four on the season, and they are looking to bounce back on September 27th against Shippensburg. Also on September 17th, Bloomsburg took on Millersville in the Play for a Cure game, where they raised $1,000 to donate to the Geisinger's Jeanette Weiss Children's Hospital. The Huskies want to thank anyone who supported or helped donate. Now over to Zach and Sean in the studio for an update on football. Thanks. And myself, Zach Costas, along with Sean Porter, are here to give you an update on Huskies football. And Sean, Bloomsburg is off to a roaring start once again here in 2014 as they've won their first three contests to start the season. But now it's the Huskies' defense that's been carrying Bloomsburg to victories. You do have that right, Zach, because now through three games, Huskies' fierce defense is giving up only 19 points per game even while facing a handful of high-quality opponents, defeating the Stonehill Skyhawks 24-7, California Vulcans 24-21 in overtime, and then bashing Mercyhurst Lakers 38-22. But it isn't just the defense who's been stepping up their game, is it, Zach? No, exactly. It hasn't been just the defense. As running back Eddie Mateo, who returned this season after missing all of 2013, has rushed for 339 yards and six touchdowns in only three games. And Zach, Mateo will need to continue his success as the Huskies welcome in the Shippensburg Red Raiders into Redmond Stadium this Saturday for a game where the Huskies will be looking for revenge as they lost to the Red Raiders 34-18 on national television in 2013, where they were 8-0 and for the season. And we'll expect the Huskies to bring their A game on Saturday, Sean, as there will be no doubt that the players and the fans will be extremely hyped up for that one. But Bloomsburg will definitely be favored in this one at home with their undefeated record as they'll try to extend that streak of perfection to 4-0. Max, back to you. Thanks, guys. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I'm Max Duffy. See you next time for another edition of Husky Sports Center. Well, that is this week's National Broadcasting Society's Variety Show. I'm Jenna Kapolsky. And I'm Cindy Wark. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time on Boomin' Bloomin' News.